Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, so my name is E. This is East Creations Paint Party. It's blank because it's Tuesday night. How to Tuesday. All things Halloween. Let's see where we go with that. <laughs> so say hello, hello, hello. If you're practicing with me tonight, let me know if anyone's practicing with you with me tonight. Of course, we have to give props to you. No. Hoo -hoo. Say hi, Butters. Say hi to your fans. Yep, yep, yep. We're doing our show, buddy. You're going to be a good boy? Yes, maybe. I don't know. He might chime in, so that's why we introduce him. Yeah. Yes, yes, I see. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, you never know. You never know if we might hear from the, uh, the good old uh, Butters. Let's give him a treat. Let's give him a treat, right? Let's give him a treat. Why not? Would you like your treat, Butters? Here you go, buddy. There you go. What a good boy. And he's there. All right. Enjoy, honey. <laughs> All right. Now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> let me show you my handy-dandy table. Same colors every single time we paint. White, red, yellow, blue, and black. Got my water. Got all sorts of brushes. I'll let you know what I'm using when I'm using it. Alrighty, guys. And uh, like I said, tonight is a practice session. So, um... Um, this is for you. Any questions you guys might have? Hello, 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 Amanda. How are you doing, sweetheart? And we have uh, <sighs> Marie. Marie is in the house. And I saw, uh, let's see, Cindy's hanging out with us tonight. Hello, 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 Cindy. How are you doing, sweetheart? And Tina B is here. Hello, 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 Tina B. And let's see who else popped on while I was doing that. Uh, Sheila is here. Hi, Sheila. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, you have a background ready, already ready, already, and you're going to add to it? That sounds awesome. Marsha's hanging out with us. Joan is here. Hello, 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 Rochelle. Rochelle's hanging out with us tonight. Hello, Rochelle. How's everybody doing on our lovely Tuesday, right? So this is your practice session, guys, whatever you want to see. Whatever you want me to show you, uh, let me know. All right, pop it on up into the comments section. We got the painting coming up Friday, so I'm going to do a few things from that. Those of you following my make -em ups I went with uh, some gold brown kind of, I don't know, fall type look. Why not, right? So um, there you go. I've been practicing not bringing it all the way up to my eyebrow. <laughs> Like some of the past ones, and I just dropped my glasses. <laughs> uh, Sheila wants to see bats and a witch. Yep, I got you on that one, Sheila. Alrighty, guys, and uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you so much, everybody. And uh, I'm going to put you guys in your handy-dandy holder. And uh, we'll get this thing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really do. You know, it's fun trying new things. It's fun trying to practice. And, you know, the more the more times you do something, hopefully, uh, you know, you get a little better at it. Uh, I'm trying, anyway, to get a little better at things. So I don't know why things are looking so dark. Maybe if I pop that on a little brighter. That'll be better, or uh, maybe if I, uh, hold on, I got to press buttons. Sorry, my fingers. Um, there we go. <laughs> I had to fix that. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so you know me. I'm working on 16 by 20, 16 this way, 20 straight across. Of course, I'm going to sneak one in that I have to cover up. Because that's what I do on How To Tuesdays. <laughs> this one doesn't have too much extra going on. So be easy peasy to uh, cover it up here. All right. I'm going to go with a sky with a big old moon in it. And we're going to go with a dark misty um, underground. And we're going to add some Halloween things to that as we go along. So I'm grabbing big boy. Swirl tap dab and big boy. He's a one inch flat. And I'm going to go right into uh, white and blue and black all that fun stuff right here and i'm going to gently put it onto my canvas so i don't sling it across my kitchen or my living room because you know how i like to do that 
<laughs> so white, blue, and a black. We're just grabbing those colors and we're going to get, um, so I'm doing a dark sky, but I'm making it a little lighter than pitch black. Uh, this way, when we add our things to it, plus the moon is shining through it or whatnot. So as we add our things to it, um, we'll be able to see, we'll be able to see our bats and our witches and, and, and uh, our ghosts and all of that good stuff that's going against it. Okay, guys, so 6,000%. So I'm just adding more white. I'm just adding more white to it to turn around and get it to be a little lighter, right? A little lighter. And I like the separation of color, so I'm going to just stick and move. I'm not going to turn around and uh, paint extra, extra, extra. I'm just going to make sure my canvas is covered, and I'm going to make sure it's nice and loose and thin so it dries rather quickly for me. I don't want any big globs, you know, because you want it to dry for you. So that's why I just go over it a few times with my brush, a few light sweeps across. Number one, to get any brush strokes out of the way, and number two, to smooth it all out. Um, I don't do this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, because like I said, I like the separation of color. So uh, we're just going to go over it a few times like that. All right, so now the bottom part, I want it to be a little darker, but, you know, we may add stuff that we want to see. So I'm going to go into uh, purples. Right, so I'm not going to clean my brush. I'm just going to grab red paint. I'm going to grab red paint, and I'm going to grab the blue, and I'm going to grab a, a little bit of the black, and then we're going to grab the white, right? So all of those those four things going on there, and just smash it all together. Smash it all together, and we will get a darker color. I'm going to grab more red. All right, so we're going to get a darker color, and then I'm, when I add the white to it, it'll lighten it up. So it looks darker than the blue, but it's actually uh, just a darker color. It's not necessarily darker than the blue, right? It just seems like it's darker than the blue because it's purple. Okay, and purple, we have in our mindset, we have purple as being darker than blue. Right, so that's uh, that's how that works out in our brains. Again, I am just sweeping this on lightly, making sure it's nice and loose, nice and thin, so it dries. I'm blending this one out a little more. Notice how, as I go over the uh, the paint, the more I go over it, the more it's blending out and becoming more of a solid color instead of the color that is all separated, like on top. Um, I am just uh, smoothing that all out. I'm going to hold my brush over here. I'm going to put it straight up against the canvas, and I'm going to swoop right across, right? Faster you go, straighter it'll be. Shoot, just like that. 6,000%. There we is. There we go. There we is. There we is. <laughs> there we is. All right. So, yep, that's, uh, you know, we can add that one to uh, Eve's Grammar Dictionary. <laughs> Hello, 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 Carol. How are you, sweetheart? So we can add that to uh, Eve's Grammar Dictionary. There we is. There we is, and there we was, and there it, there it's going to be. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <sighs> so, oh, that reminds me, you know, since I'm giving a language lesson, um, that, you know, all my videos are, uh, what are we doing? All things Halloween, Carol. Um, all my videos are kid friendly, so I'm going to try to watch this thing. And if you guys could watch your comments, that would be great. Again, uh, stars is enabled. Hello, 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 Lynn. How are you, sweetheart? Stars is enabled, so tips are appreciated, right? I also have Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. The PayPal link is on the feed. All my replays are always, always, always available on my page and also on YouTube. So I will post all of those links now for you um, so I don't have to worry about doing it again. Uh, I have paintings listed on Etsy if anyone's interested in purchasing a painting. Uh, those are on Etsy, soon to be on my um, website. So everything is in the works. My sister is doing the Etsy. 
uh, we're doing the website together. She, um, she YouTube is uh, back and running again. It was just that one video that was giving us trouble. So that video never made it to YouTube, but all the rest are uploading just fine. So that should be all good to go. And um, let's see, where's the Etsy? This is my Etsy. And let's go with, uh, let's see what we got here. And the YouTube, got to share the YouTube. Ba, 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 da, ba. There it is. All right. So there we go. I'm done pressing buttons. <laughs> That's a lot of buttons, isn't it? But I want to make sure all you guys get your information that you need. Okay, guys. So, uh, if, you know, if there's anything you need from me and, and something that, uh, you know, you could also always, always, always direct message me right through Facebook. The link is right at the top of my page. Um, that is the fastest way to get a reply out of me. Um, I also have my email and I have a business line, but like in that order, right? Direct message me, email is the next good one, and then uh, business line. Business line, I don't, I don't always, um, so this got tacky as I was pressing buttons and I want it more blended, so I'm dipping my, wa um, dipping my brush into my water. Thank you so much, Kathy. Hello, 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 sweetheart. I'm dipping my brush in the water. I'm giving it a little tap, tap. And I'm going to go on here with a damp brush, right? The whole damp brush blending trick, dipping my brush again, getting the drips out of it just like this. Going to come up here and uh, the old damp brush blending trick, right, guys? The old damp brush blending trick, right? So you just, as long as your paint is still a little tacky, you could turn around and just dampen your brush, dipping it again, getting the drips off. Okay, I'm going to come up in here. And I'm going to smooth this out more. So as long as your uh, paint is not completely dry, it's not completely dry, you can do the damp brush blending trick. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much, Kathy, for that. I appreciate that. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Eve never made her coffee. I was doing the ginger ale thing because... Um, you know, my tummy tum tum was not cooperating with me, but uh, we're going to make a cup of coffee soon and then we're going to get fired up. <laughs> but I have my um, my TikToks are on Tuesday nights now, too. So after I'm done with all of you beautiful people um, at 10 o'clock, I switch over to my TikTok and I paint a live painting on TikTok. So those of you that have that app can join me there. And um, if you don't, that's okay. You're not missing nothing. Everything I'm doing on Facebook, I'm doing on TikTok. So it's just a repeat of everything. So um, like I said, if you don't have the app, don't feel like you're missing out on something. Just, you know, another wonderful experience with me. But now <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, those of that you that do, 10 p.m. Eastern on uh, Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, I do a paint party on TikTok, okay? So, hello, 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 hello. Mary is here. Hi, Mary. Wendy's hanging out with us tonight. We're international, baby, with Wendy in Ca uh, California. Hello. Wendy in Canada. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I grab white paint. I'm going to make a moon. We're going to make a moon. Okay, so I'm going to find my center. Oh, bam, right there, somewhere in there. All right, and I'm going to do my parentheses and my parentheses around that. All right, and then I'm going to fill and fix. I'm going to fill and fix. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And since my paint is a little wet, I'm getting those dark colors in there. But since this is the moon, I have to put this down harder because my canvas is rocking and rolling since this is the moon we're not mad at that we're not mad at that at all right because the moon has shadows and shapes and all sorts of good stuff in there so we are not mad at that at all and now I'm just pressing my brush down and smoothing this out to get rid of the brush strokes okay and we did a layer one of the moon all right so what do you guys want to see somebody wants uh 
the witch is going in the moon, so we got to wait for the moon, love. Um, and you mentioned um, bats, right? All right, so we're going to do bats. Okay, so what do I need to do a bat? I'm going to grab... Um, I'm going to grab a tiny, all right, so a tiny is a uh, small round brush for details. Hello, 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 Carolyn, how are you doing, sweetheart, uh, is a small brush for details, all right, and these are my bats, everybody, you know, you guys can find your way to make bats, these are how I make bats, so uh, that is totally up to you in the bat game, all right, so let's throw a bat over here, let me move you guys closer. Close up! You knew it was coming. You knew that was coming. <laughs> 6,000%. You knew that was coming. <laughs> All right. So, first thing for my bat is I am going to make a U. And I'm going to angle it any way I want my bat to be angled. Now, if you can't draw a good U at an angle, what you can do is put your line at the angle that you want it. All right. And then you do your shape. You do your shape on either side, okay? You do your shape on either side, and it will be even on both sides, and it will also be the angle that you want it to be, okay, guys? So if you're ever trying to paint something and you want it at an angle, split it in half, draw the line at the angle you want, and then put your shape on either side of that line, and you will have your shape perfectly on an angle, just the way it needs to be. Hello, 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 Gail. How are you doing, sweetheart? Just the way it needs to be, right? And now I'm just going to fill and fix. I'm going to fill and fix, all right? Just going to dab. I'm dabbing with my tiny because I don't want to kill it, all right? So there's the head of my bat. There is the head of my bat. Oh, yeah, 6,000%. I don't know about you guys. I'm, like, sweating to death. Um, It was, like, an un... It was, like, 75 degrees in New Jersey today, almost 80, and very humid. It felt like summer outside. Um, So it's kind of warm in here. I shut the... uh Maybe if I put the fan on. I'm going to put the fan on. The uh, I had the uh, little window unit going, but um, it was... uh making too much noise so okay so you're doing great glad to hear it love all right so from there you're going to swoop right so i'm going to swoop up this way swoop all right right out of the side of his head and i'm going to swoop out this way swoop right out of the side of his head okay and then the next thing you want to do is another swoop swoop just like that all right and then this swoop this swoop's going to go right off the canvas so swoop right off the canvas all right, once you have those two things in, then you could swoop the bottom. So what I do is I work from the head outwards. So this way, if I need to add a little more to the wing, that's not a problem. It was 76 degrees near Buffalo, right, Carolyn? It was unseasonally uh, warm today. So I'm going to start off where the other line is. I'm going to come out, and I'm going to do a bend down. Then I'm going to come on the other side and do the bend down. All right. So when you want things to be even Steven on both sides, you draw the pieces as you go along on both sides. Okay. If you draw all of one side and then go to draw your other side, it's not going to match up as well. If you do each piece on each side, it's going to match better. All right. So I'm just tidbits of knowledge tonight, aren't I? <laughs> I'm telling you, boy, woo! <laughs> teacher cells are all on fire tonight. <laughs> Once you have those, right, you're going to do another one. Bam. Another one over here. Bam. Just like that. Okay. So there you go. We're getting the bottom wing of the bat. Okay. And then when you get to this point, you're going to start looking at where you got to go, right? Somehow you got to get this to meet this. Now, if you want to, you could cut it off right there and do a straight line, right? You could cut it off right here and do a straight line. Oh, we're definitely adding something there because I got a spot of black paint on there. Um, you could do a straight line. If you want to, though, you could also do, you can also do another curve, but you're bringing it up higher to the line you want to meet. All right, almost like you were doing holly leaves for the wings. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much, same exact shape, 
Good, good eye, Pamela. It's the same exact thing, except this has more points than that side. Okay, so when you do your other little swoop, you want to bring it up higher to that, that point. And then you could just meet them up. And then you could just meet them up. Okay, just like that. All right, guys, so how you end your bat wing, you could also turn around and do another little point like this. And then swoop this outwards. Okay, you can do that too. So how you end your bat wing, it really doesn't matter. Like I said, you can do um, the straight line to it. You could curve up and then do the straight line. You could curve it past the point to here and then do a swoop from that piece. So there's a couple of different ways you can end your bat wing. It's totally up to you. And now I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish uh going uh this way but this is going right off of the canvas so that uh, it doesn't matter how i finish this side up all right so once you have your shape in you're just going to grab uh, a mini me right you're going to grab a mini me trying to find a mini me in my cup of magic here and you're just going to color it in that's all you got to do better now okay good carol um so you're just going to color it in now that you have all your dots and your points and all of that good stuff, you are just going to color it in. All right, so there is how to make your bats. All right, so, and then, you know, if you want to go extra, right, I can grab a nifty, and I can make these points, like, really pointy, 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 right? So I could do that. Um, you know, if you want to add details into the face, you could always add some fangs or something, you know, whatever you want to do along those lines. So if I grab my nifty, all right, if I grab nifty, so I got nifty, my little brush with the nice little point on it. And like I said, anybody that sends me support, make sure I get your address so you can get your nifties for free. All right, so you can just grab a nifty brush and come in here and add, you know, make your points more pointy. Uh, you could turn around and, um, you know, clean up your curves if you want to. Okay, you could clean those up. All right, like that. Make those points more pointy and just smooth everything out. Would you not put another point on the inside of wing? Uh, Wendy, you mean like right in here? Like here and here? That part? I'm not sure inside a wing, which part of the inside of the wing do you mean? Okay, so you can... Um, you know, speaking of points, you guys, these are your bats, all right? So this is the basic bat shape, right? No. <laughs> no, that's not what you mean. <laughs> all right, what do you mean? I'm lost. Up here, this, this part, this side, on this side? Um, I do not. You mean like put one like right there too? I don't, um, because a bat wing, if you look at it, it swoops up and swoops out. Um, it only has the one point on the top of their wings. When you start adding the extra points on the tops, yeah, yeah. If you start, if you add it, like it has two already, right? But a bat wing, this part folds over, and then this part is like when they're when they're like in cocoon, you know, like. Um, well, they're sleeping upside down. They literally only have one fold in the top of their wing. They have the big fold for this part to flap. And then they have another fold, like, right on the end. So, but it's your bats. So, you guys can put as many points as you want. You know, like I said, this is the basic shape. So, you could turn around and add to it or take away from it. Um, I have made them with extra points on top in the past. They just don't look right to me. It gets to be a little messy looking, so I like to do it with the one point and maybe throw in another one at the, at the end. But like I said, 
this is the basic stuff for you guys. If you want to turn around and play and add and try different things, 6,000% do that. All right, 6,000% do that. Not mad at that. Okay, and now we're going to do an easy peasy highlight. So I'm just going to grab, um, we're not going to do that yet because that paint's too wet. All right, I'm going to do an easy peasy highlight on that in a second. Let's do our second coat of our moon. All right, so I'm grabbing big boy again. So I'll tap dab in big boy. And I'm going to grab my white paint. I'm going to grab my white paint. All good, Wendy. No, love the questions. Guys, ask me questions. I love it. It gives me something to talk about. <laughs> So, because I don't talk enough, right? Just white paint. I grab my dirty white paint. And we're going to second layer our moon, right? So I'm going to start on the outer edge. I'm going to start on the outer edge, right? Use the flat of that brush. Use the flat of that brush. To pull that in. Hold on, guys. <coughs> Nothing there, butters. Nothing there, hon. There's nothing there, baby. <laughs> so, and uh, now I'm just I'm just pushing the paint around. I didn't get any more paint. I'm just pushing the paint around um, to turn around and bring it all into the middle. <coughs> Like I said, we don't mind those dark areas. Now, for this to look a little more like a moon, I'm actually going to grab um, some of the red, uh, microscopic amount of red and blue on my uh, brush. Right? I'm going to dab, dab, dab. Right? Take most of that off of my brush. <laughs> Butters woke up Penny. Butters woke me up, too. Right? So I have this very little amount of paint. And now I'm just going to come in here. And I'm going to dab some shadows in here. Okay, so I'm going to dab some shadows in here. Right? So, and I'm letting the paint blend in. So some of it's darker, some of it's lighter. Okay, and then I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'm going to wipe off my brush. And I'm going to come in and I'm just going to soften. And I'm just dabbing. If you notice, I'm just do 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 dabbing with my brush. And I'm just going to soften this out, right? Soften the edges out, right? Turning my hand, softening edges. It's all I'm doing, all right? And then I'm going to turn around. <laughs> I like the little pumpkin sticker. And now I'm going to grab some more of that white. I'm going to grab some more of that white, and I'm going to dab in some brighter white areas, okay? So we're going to dab those in. Right, put those on there. Wipe my brush off. <laughs> woke up. You woke everybody up, butters. You woke everybody up with that. All right, so got those little lighter white dabs. I'm going to soften around those. Right, being careful not to lose the brightness of it. Okay, so just dabbing around the edges of that. And there you have your moon. All right. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to turn around and uh, soften it up. All right. I got to make, I'm going to make my coffee. And uh, I need a drink. I'm thirsty. <laughs> it's warm in here. It is warm in Eve's house tonight. 6,000%. It is warm in Eve's house tonight. All right. So, that being said, uh, why don't, um, what else you guys want to see? So, uh, let me know what else you want to see. Uh, I want to do a skeleton. Okay. So, let's do a little tombstone. I got black over here before, so let's make this into a tombstone. Okay. So, right. Move my hand, not the brush. To get a straight line. All right, so just like that, across, moving my hand, not the brush. I'm using Mini Me and black paint. Okay, just like that. All right, I'm going to do the point on the top, like this. All right, I'm going to 
put make this into a square or a rectangle all right let's make this into a rectangle like this okay so we have our rectangle we need the crossbar on the cross so all right start off small because when you add the points you're going to wind up uh, having it be get longer okay so you want to turn around and put those in like that all right and there you go okay so now if you want to add an edge to this which is fun to do I'm going to grab tiny and I'm going to grab my white paint and I'm going to grab a little bit of the black right I'm going to make a, a light 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 gray right so we'll make a light light, light whoop, blue blue fell in there somehow so now it's a steely gray but I'm not mad at that right so I'm making this uh, nice little light gray color I can come in here right if I want to make this 3d right so I'm gonna go across the top I'm gonna go across the tops of these okay then I got to go across the top of the rectangle okay and then I have to uh, I have to pick a side and whatever side you pick that's the side you do on every single little piece a long-tailed hunchback kitty please okay got you all right so now I gotta pick a side. So I'm gonna pick the side that's closest to the moon. Alright, because you have to do the same side on every piece. So I pick that side. And then I'm gonna do this side. Alright. And then I'm gonna do this side. Okay. And then I'm gonna do uh this side. All right, so you have to make sure you pick the side that you want to do. All right, so that's how you wind up doing that. And you want to make sure that it's um, you pick the same sides for every piece. And then if you have to go back in and clean up because maybe you went a little too far over your marks, you just clean it all up with the black again. Okay, guys, that's all you need to do. So now that this set a little bit, I'm going to take um, I'm just going to take a uh, fluffy brush here. Let's grab a fluffy brush. I do have the boogeyman at my door, right? I let Butters outside so he could do his thing because the neighbors seem to be having a party or something. I don't know what they're doing. All right, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. It's dry. And I'm just going to come in here. And I'm going to do some more dabbing on here. So it's a dry, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to do some more dabbing on here to soften this all out. All right. So this way this softens all out and you got your bright spots, you got your shadows, you got all of that good stuff. Okay guys, 6,000%. My coffee's ready. We have a witch I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight the bat. We, I got a request for a kitty and I want to do a skeleton. So if there's anything other than those uh, four things you guys want to see, let me know. I'll give you a chance. Ow, that coffee was hot. I just burnt my hand. Anybody else doing pumpkin spice? Right? Pumpkin spice is out. Woo! <laughs> Eve's a happy woman. Eve is a happy woman. I love pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice everything. I don't care if they're going a little crazy with it. Pumpkin spice everything. Pumpkin spice the world. <laughs> Six thousand percent. All right. So, uh, let's do some roll call. I know some of you are adding these little tidbits to backgrounds right now, and that's a lot of fun, so I'll give you a chance to catch up mustard. We have Amanda's in the house, Marie, Marie, Cindy, Tina B, Sheila, Marsha, Joan, 
Rochelle, Carol, Lynn, Kathy, Mary, Wendy, Carolyn, and Gail are here. And Sharon is saying hello. Hello, 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 Sharon. How are you doing, sweetheart? So don't forget, guys, stars is enabled. PayPal link is there. You guys keep the lights on. So you made three loaves of pumpkin bread this morning. Oh, my goodness. So good. You've never seen pumpkin spice, Amanda? You never seen it? They don't have that kind of stuff in Australia? <laughs> um, so those of you who don't know, Amanda, I'm going to tell your business. Amanda's in Australia, mate. So, um, yeah, that sounds delicious. Where's mine? Right? So cheers, everybody. Hi. <laughs> cheers, everybody. I was smart. I sipped. Because I knew it was hot. <laughs> okay. So, now that I got my um, my tombstone, let's do my skeleton. Alright, so I'm going to grab a uh, tiny, and i got to grab some clean white paint on my brush. Okay, and we're going to do a skeleton hanging out... Uh, Hanging out with our uh, tombstone here. Australia don't have it. What am I missing? Oh, thank you for the star, sweetie. Um, pumpkin spice. Basically, everything known to man is pumpkin spice. So, I have pumpkin spice creamer. So, it's kind of, it tastes like, uh, I don't know if you ever had pumpkin pie. Thank you so much for the star, Susan. Um, I don't know if I, you have, like, um, pumpkin pie. So, it kind of tastes like that. It has, like, a cinnamon, cinnamon -y. cinnamon -y? Cinnamonininny, cinnamonim, 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 no, cinnamon, cinnamon, <laughs> it has like a cinnamon, nutmeg, um, kind of, maybe a, a, a touch of clove kind of flavor to it, so, all right, skeleton, okay, so how are we going to do a skeleton? We are going to turn around and you start with the center line uh, first and your hips. Okay, so I'm going to do the center line. Whoop, just like that. And cinnamon and clove flavor, yes. And now I'm going to do the hips. Okay. So we're going to do the hips. All right, just like that. A little figure eight. A little figure eight. Okay. And then you put the, the little area that's right in there, right? So this is the whole pelvic bone. The whole pelvic bone going on there. All right. And then you want to do your legs. So your legs, right? Remember our proportions, right, guys? So my legs are going to be two times this. But I'm going to do my legs in two pieces. So one piece is going to be the, le the length of that, right? For the most part close to it and then the other piece is going to be the length of that okay and you put that coming right out of the uh, two little bone pockets there and then the other piece is going to be the length of that okay and you could twist these and turn these and make these go in all sorts of directions it's a skeleton right so it doesn't have to be uh, perfect all right so we have his legs and now we need uh, his arms, all right? So the arms are going to come out of the shoulders, right? We got the shoulders connected to the neck bone. We got the neck bone connected to the shoulder bone. We got all these bones going on. So I'm going to put the shoulder bones in. All right, let's put the shoulders in here, all right? We got the legs connected to the... I don't know how that song goes. <laughs> now we can put the arms in. All right. Now, remember, elbow goes to the waist. Remember when we did our proportions? All right. So elbows go to the waist. Okay. Elbows go to the waist. And then you're going to do your arm part and your arm. Right. Believe it or not, your arm is the same distance here to here. Same amount of length going on okay so 
that's what you want to do. And like I said, you can put these going any old way you want. It's a skeleton. Okay. Now I leave spaces. I try to, I, I attach that one, but I try to leave spaces in between all these little parts that I'm doing. All right. And then you want to do your little neck. Okay, and then you're going to do your skull. So I draw the line first. Remember law of twos, right? One, two, four. All right, so my skull has to be half of this. Okay, so I draw my line about half of that. And then I do my skull shape. Okay, so um, you do your skull shape. So you can just make a teardrop. You can make a teardrop for now. My tombstone's still wet. So you can make a teardrop. All right. You just start off with a teardrop. And we're going to let this dry. And I will finish off the skull shape in a second. Because my tombstone is still wet. So we'll get back to that. All right. So now we can do the other parts i'm going to swirl tap dab my brush thank you so much for the stars mary i appreciate that i really 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 do jcp and al appreciates that too <laughs> i'll swirl tap dab my brush i'm going to do his ribs right so for ribs i put a line and then I'm, i leave a space and i'll show you why i leave a space in a minute okay so i put the line in and i leave the space i'm going to grab nifty to do this I leave the space to do the little hook, the little rib hook. Okay, so I do a little hook this way and a little hook that way. A little hook this way and a little hook that way. Okay, so I leave the space in between those lines to do these uh, little hooks. Okay, for the ribs. All right, and then we need our hands and our feet. So the feet, I just make a uh, triangle. I just make a triangle for the feet, okay, and right, so the point going towards the leg and the wider part on the uh, going out, so a triangle for the feet, okay, I do, um, I do a triangle for the hands, Right, so just a triangle for the hands, same uh, thing. Okay, just like that. All right, I'm gonna fix this just because it's bothering me, but I gotta do the jaw on the uh, the skeleton here. Okay, so there's the jaw part, and I covered up my neck with this jaw. That's okay, right? If you uh, position your skull shape. Um, a little higher you can have that little neck bone in there or you know you could do the jaw right over the neck bone however you want to do your skeleton okay and now I'm gonna to switch to mr. nifty and I'm gonna put in all the tiny details all right so I'm grabbing nifty I'm grabbing white paint we need the fingers um, close up <laughs> we need uh, fingers okay so I'm going to do each the, the sections of fingers. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do the uh, next section. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And uh, put my hand in the white paint. That's what I did. That's what spit's for. Okay. And um, then I do the last section. One, two, uh, three. Four, and we don't do the thumb okay guys uh, the toes right one two three four five just like that all right let's do the uh, other hand over here all right do the thumb one two three four five okay do the next joint one here two three four five and do the last little tiny tippy joint okay which i put at an angle just like that and then do his toes 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so some extra little details I add to my skeletons, okay? So what I add, this is your basics, all right? This is your base. Okay, guys, so now all of you can make a basic skeleton. So what I add to my skeletons, all right? This is what I add to my skeletons. I add a couple extra pieces to them, all right? I add, I add a swoop at all the joints, Okay, so I add a, sh I'm using Nifty and white paint, um, a swoop at all the joints. All right. Except, um, I don't do the, uh, I just don't, I don't, I don't know if I do the wrist or not, to tell you the truth. I think I skipped the wrist, but I, I do a little swoop at the elbows, the knees, um, the ankles, um, the shoulders, Okay, so I do a little swoop at all the joints. All right, and then the next thing I do is I add the double bone. I add the double bone um, to the um, arms and the legs. All right, so I just take Nifty, and I go very carefully, and I add the double bone to the bottom half of the arms and the bottom half of the legs just like that okay so that's what I do with my skeletons all right and now you can go in and you can add his face in right so you know you just add the eyes you know you just add the skeleton eyes going on here any way you know you want your skeleton eyes to be and you know your nose right boom boom Okay, and then, you know, a little grid for the mouth. And there you guys go. All right. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? You guys got this. It's just a matter of placement. Like I said, le leaving all the sections separated, making sure you got your, um, your proportions down as how long and how big everything has to be again. Right? How many times that we did people and silhouettes and all that stuff? The rule of twos. Right? You got the head. This part's double the head. Legs down is double this part. Right? So one, two, and two. Okay? So there you guys have it. All right? And uh, so we need uh, somebody wanted a Frady cat. So let's do a Frady cat. Let's do a Frady cat. So I'm going to swirl tap dab uh, tiny. Okay, we need a little Frady cat going on. All right, I'm going to grab my uh, black paint here. All right, I'm just mixing my, my black paint has blue and red in it. I'm just mixing it all together. Hi, Kelly. How you doing, sweetheart? Hello, 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 Kelly. Um, so, right, we need a Frady cat. So what are we going to do? We want to do the fun part first, right? So let's move you guys over here. Da, 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 da. And I got to let Butters back in soon. Okay, so we're going to do the arch. Wacha! Right? Because he's scared. Right? Freddy Cat Arch. <laughs> okay? And then you want to do his uh, triangle for his face. Okay? So you do the triangle for his face. Okay? Just like that. All right? And then you do the underbody. Right? Wacha! Like that. All right, you need his uh, ears. Bam, bam. That's where his ears gonna go. His tail's gonna be sticking straight up because he's scared. Ha ha ha! Hi, Kelly. Right. So we gotta put your stick the tail straight up. Then we need the paws, right? So one here, one here. Okay, and uh, let's see, where are we going to put these guys? Oh, yeah, they go here. One here and one there. All right, so now that we got our basic shape in there, now we just got to fill and fix, right? We're going to fill and fix. Okay, so I'm going to grab Mini-Me, and I'm going to grab my black paint, and I'm going to fill and fix. All right, so we're going to bring this tail down, and somebody wanted a uh, fluffy tail, right? So let's fluff it. Okay, I'm just uh, doing dabs, right? There's the fluffy tail. 
All right, and we're going to add some fluffs to the back. All right, so I'm just flicky doing with uh, Mini Me. All right, color this part in. Okay, we need to make the, the feets. All right, give them nice little rounded edges. Okay, and we need to make these feet little round edges. And this foot's little round edge, right? Just spinning my brush around. It's mini me, so it has the flat edge to it. I gotta fix his head, okay? So let's come in here and fill and fix the head here a little bit. All right, just like that. All right, we got the side of his head. And we need his ears, so we'll grab Mr. Nifty. And let's put his ears in. Doot, doot, one ear. And over here, the other ear, right? Follow the side of the head and bring the ear up, okay? And the other ear right there, okay? And then you have a Freddy cat. And if you want to see his face more, right? If you want it not being part of the shadow, you would just grab a microscopic amount of white paint you just grab a microscopic amount of white paint. I'm grabbing it with tiny. And I'm going to come in here and do the piece that's against the black. Right? And then I'm going to zigzag zoom it. I'm going to zigzag zoom it. So if you want to see his face against the black, all right, you're just going to make his face a little bit of a lighter gray where it's against the black parts. All right, and you just zigzag zoom it. That's all. That's all you need to do. All right, just dabbing and zooming, and there you go. So now you can see his face against the uh, gray parts. And then, you know, it's your cat, you guys. Right? So I'm giving you guys the basic shapes and stuff. You guys go in and have fun with all your details, right? So something I can add to here is I pick up that white paint again, and I turn around and do flicky doos for his fur, right? So I would do like little flicky doos for his fur. Okay, flicky doing the fur here, right? Grabbing the black paint and flicky doing the fur. Okay, so you know, it's your, uh, like I said, I'm giving you guys the basics and then you guys, right? Flicking the fur upwards on this. Okay. All right, everything's sticking up, sticking up. All right, so I'm giving you guys the basics, and you guys, you know, can have fun with it. All right, so there you have your scaredy cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, so much fun. Halloween's a lot of fun. I gotta put this fan on her. Right, Eve is sweating to death, so what do I do? Let's make myself a cup of coffee. <laughs> Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee because I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, easy highlight on the back. You guys ready? Easy highlight on the back. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we're going to come over to our back, and I'm going to grab Mr. Nifty. I'm going to swirl tap dab them, and I'm going to grab my white paint. So I hope everyone's having an awesome Tuesday. I hope you guys are all ready for your Halloween. I went to my dance. I had an amazing time. Um, I do have pictures. I didn't do the post yet because I didn't want the post for us to share our Halloween stuff. Now, even if it's decorations you did or a costume or your grandkids or your dog, it don't matter to me. We're family. So share your part of Halloween that you guys are uh, entertaining and doing, if you are. And um, I'm going to share the post. <coughs> I'll create the post with the pictures of me in my costume. Um, I'm going to do it like on the, um, you know, 30th. All right. So then this way we don't lose the post in my feed. And it's towards the top so you guys can share your stuff on that post as well. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see everybody's uh, costumes and, and kids and uh, puppies and decorations. So I'm going to put a swoop of a highlight right there, right? So you just pick the side that's closest to your light source. All right, I'm going to swoop that piece. And then I want to go underneath, right? Sometimes, now if he was under the moon, I would do the top part of his wing. But since the moon is next to him, I'm going to do the bottom part of his wing. So all I'm doing is taking white paint and I am just outlining 
in the black part, I am just outlining the curves of his wings. That is all I'm doing. And like I said, you just pick the side that's closest to your light and you own it, right? And you just keep doing everything on that side. And um, that is your easy peasy highlight for your back, right? Just takes it up, chef's kiss, another little notch, right? Just takes it up another little notch. That's what that does. 6,000%. Okay. So, moving right along. We're moving right along. Yes, we are. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> so, um, it's fun, right? I'm having fun. This is fun. I like doing stuff like this. All right. I did not forget about our landscape. The reason I threw this in here, number one, just because it's fun. Number two, you know, there's a few Halloween things in Friday's painting that I have not shown you. So I want to show you those. And uh, number three is since the landscape edition is a how-to Q&A, and we did parts, and we did parts one and two, I want to give you guys all of that extra time, and especially everyone being busy with the holiday, I want to give you some extra time to actually watch those videos and practice it, and then come back with your questions Um after Halloween, after everything's over and said and done with, and we're going to pick up our how-to landscape Q&A um, after the holiday, okay? So um, this way you guys have plenty of time to do your version and to practice it and all of that good stuff. Ha <laughs> ha! Darn it! Darn it, Bob! Bob, why you got to come in and messing up the show? <laughs> Hi, Tina B's hubby. Hi. <laughs> you made her miss the cat, Bob. <laughs> All right. Let's do our, um, let's do our, uh, witch, right? Cause, uh, we have a witch on Friday, right? So we have a witch silhouette, which is a lot of fun. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tiny brush and we're going to grab some black paint. Now I want to make sure my black paint is nice and loose and thin. All right. So if you need to add that drop of water to it, okay, because you're going to be making a straight line, right? So nice and loose and thin and right. Move your hand, not the brush. Where do I want my witch? I want it in my moon. Okay. So I'm going to Whoop, fast you go, straighter it'll be. Alright, fast you go, straighter it'll be. Alright, now, I'm not going to finish this broom off. I'm not going to put the end or the um, the tip to it. Because, um, depending on how big my... Um, hello, 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 Cynthia. How you doing, love? Um, depending on how big my witch and my cat get, I might have to make the broom bigger, Right? So I'm not gonna I'm just gonna put the line. And then after you're done drawing everything on that line, then you want to put the broom bigger. Alright. So the first thing with the witch, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a squiggle. Alright, so this is gonna be where her shoulders are, and then you go in where her waist is gonna be, and then you come back out for the badonka donk. All right, just like that, okay? So you're going to do a squiggle, okay? And we're going to fill and fix. So if any of this uh, gets messed up, don't worry about it. We're going to fill and fix, okay? Once you have that line drawn, you're going to do the other side, all right? So you're basically making an hourglass. But this line, you're going to do um, a little more straight, right? And then you're going to come out, and you're going to angle that that way, all right? So this goes straight. And then this follows the same kind of curve, you know, of the badonka donk. So it's a really weird, twisted um, hourglass. Okay, guys? So, and then you're going to flick out the bottom like that. So, an easier way to do this, right? You're just going to go this way and this way. Straight lines. <laughs> hello, 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 Irene. Now that I drew it, why did I make it so complicated? <laughs> right? So this is a curve. Curve for the badonka donk. The other line is straight into the center and then straight out from the center. I don't know why I did made that so tricky. Okay, so we can fill and uh, we can fill this piece in. All right, so then you're left with a piece like that. 
Okay. Hello, 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 Irene. How are you doing, sweetheart? Not really sure why I made that so tricky. So keep it simple, Eve. Keep it simple. Okay. So that being done, that being done, right? I'm grabbing more paint. And now I want to swoop in the skirt area, okay? So I'm going to follow around the badonka donk, and then I'm going to bring this in, and then make it go outwards. Another squiggle. And then I'm going to follow this piece, bring it into here, and meet it up with the other piece. Okay? Just like that. All right? And then you could fill, it, fill that in. All right? So what did I do for that? I'll repeat that. I followed the curve of the badonka donk, Brought it around. And then this, I followed this line, brought it down across the room, and then in that way. Right? And you can fill this piece in. And you can fill this piece in. Okay? Just like that. All right? Now, the next part, right, you're going to just uh, square off the shoulders. Right? Just round out the shoulders here. Okay, and you want to turn around, and she has uh, two arms, right? So you're going to imagine the arm being here, and you're going to bring it out, and the bend happens at the waist, remember? And then bring it to the broom, all right? And the bend happens at the waist, okay? So there's one arm. Right, and then the other arm's coming out from here. All right, I'm going to do this with tiny because uh, it's easier. All right, I'm grabbing tiny. All right, so then the other arm. I'm good. Been a while since you've been on here. Things are fine. So, all right, cool, Irene. No worries. No worries. It's all good. Okay, so I missed everybody's comments here. <laughs> Marie Marie. <laughs> So cute, right? Now, the other arm's coming out from over here. So I'm going to drop that down to where the elbow piece is. Right? And, and then I'm going to meet that to the broom. Okay? Just like that. All right? I'm trying to make this. There we go. And then you can make this one a little thicker. Right, you got to be careful with the arms because you don't want a muscle bound witch, right? So there you go. All right, now after you have that done, now you can do her feet, right? So the one foot, one leg is going to come out from over here, and um, I'm smushing paint everywhere. <laughs> I got black paint everywhere. All right, so that uh, I just smushed that whole area, so I'm going to do flicky doos for the, the skirt because I just got black smushes there. Okay, so you're going to turn around, and you're going to follow this piece right here and put the leg, right? You're going to follow this piece, pull outwards, put the other leg. Then you want to, um, let me move you guys closer if I can. There we go. There it is. Okay. Then you're going to do the feet, right? So just angle down and put a little heel, put a little heel, curve the shoe, swoop, curve the shoe, swoop. Okay. So then you have that part done. All right, so let me um, let me give you some ketchup mustard time with this, okay? 6,000% because that was a lot of stuff, and I don't want to go too far ahead. And, you know, you might still be on your arms. All right, no worries. Okay, guys, so hello, hello, hello from Ohio. Hi, Becky. How are you, doll? How you doing, lovey? So, um... Catch up mustard with that. Let me do some roll call because there's a lot of new uh, people that just popped on. So I want to make sure everybody gets their uh, their uh, attention. I want to make sure everybody gets their attention. <clears throat> so.
So we have Amanda, Marie Marie, Cindy, Tina B, Sheila, Marsha, Joan, Rochelle, Carol, Lynn, Kathy, Mary, Wendy, Carolyn, Gail, Sharon, Susan, Kelly, Cynthia, Irene, and Becky are here. Uh, doing all right. We're doing all right. Okay, so now I'm going to turn around. I'm going to grab Tiny again, and we got to put her head in. We got to put her head in, okay? So, and the head is facing the front of the broom. So you're just going to do a little neck piece for yourself, right? Right in the center of her uh, shoulders. Right in the center of her shoulders. And then you do your oval. Okay, remember twos, right? So her head is half this torso. Okay, so her head is half that torso. Okay, so you just put in your little piece for the head, and you can add your hat, right? I do the hat swooping this way because, you know, she's, she's flying in the air on a broom. She's flying in the air on a broom. Make sure your head fits the hat piece, so go wherever your head is on the hat, and that's where you're going to put the line for the hat piece, right? Because your head has to fit the hat. All right. And then you can flicky do uh, her hair or put little curls or whatever you want to do. All right? Put her hair in. However you want to put her hair in, right? Flicky do's, curls, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hi, Debbie. No worries, hun. All right. So, uh, all right. Flicky do in some hair. Okay, and then I'm going to grab uh, Tiny. I'm going to grab Tiny and a couple extra little details, right? So her nose, doot, right? Her chin, whoop, okay, just like that. Maybe some flicky doos for the bangs. Fix up my hat a little bit. Okay, fix the hat up a little bit there. Okay, uh, a sleeve, right? She has a little puff sleeve. So you're only going to see it on this one. So I'm going to do a little puff on the sleeve. A little uh, flicky here for the sleeve cuff. Okay, so she has a little sleeve going on. Maybe there's a little sleeve piece you see in here with some cuff part. Okay, so you can add a little sleeve going on, and, uh, you know, and then maybe you got to make your shoe a little thicker, right, right there, and there you have it. So, now I'm going to make the front of the broom longer, because my witch almost took up the whole broom. So, we got to make the uh, front of the broom uh, longer. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, you just make the front of the broom longer now. Okay, so there's there's the broom. All right, so and now uh, there's a cat on the broom. All right, there's a cat on the broom, so I'm going to bring this piece of the broom out longer. And this is why you don't finish your broom up when you paint it, because um, you might have to make it bigger depending on how big and how your stuff turns out. Right, guys? So uh, we need the kitty cat that is on the broom. So where is Tiny? All right, hit me up with anything else you wanted to see, because this uh, this cat is, uh... oh, I was going to show you a spider. All right, I got the cat and the spider. If there's anything else you want to see, hit me up, because then uh, then we're going to end the, the feed, okay, guys? So the cat on the broom is a teardrop. All right, it's a teardrop. And then follow this around and put his tail. Okay, and then the um, it's the bat head. It's the bat head, so it's a horseshoe. So it's the same head as the bat, just like that. And there is your kitty cat. 
Okay, so there's the kitty cat. Now I can bring the broom out and I could finish off my broom because I know how. Thank you so much for the hearts, guys. Because uh, I know how long I needed my broom to be. And now I could finish off my broom because it's the size that it needs to be um, to fit everything on the broom. All right, guys, so there you have your uh, your witch and your kitty cat. That's going to be on Friday's painting. All right, and like I said, on Tuesday, I do the TikTok Live. I'm doing the painting tonight on TikTok. I know Karen comes on because she's in Australia. It might be a little late for you guys because it does start at 10 p.m. So, but if you want to, if you have that app, um, you can watch me on TikTok tonight. I'm going to be doing Friday's painting. And then we're going to do the painting here on Friday. So I'm going to have to paint her like three times. <laughs> this is one. And then we'll get to two. What was that? And then we'll get to two. <laughs> and Friday will be the third time. And I'm going to be all witched out. <laughs> we're going to be all witched out at that point. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> all right. Let me show you our spider. Let me show you our spider and spider web and uh thank you so much becky and uh and like i said anything else you guys want to see speak now or uh forever hold your your peace because i'm not doing it all right so spider okay again i'm gonna grab um tiny I'm going to grab, t thank you so much for the star, Cynthia, I really appreciate that, thank you so much, and JCP&L thanks you too, if you guys don't know what JCP&L is, that's my electric company, <laughs> I was tempted, I was tempted, I'm not going to lie, I was tempted, because, um, well, anyway, I was tempted to actually start one of my lives and have it like pitch black in here, <laughs> And, and then when somebody gave me stars as support, I was going to turn the light on. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. But I was thinking about that because I thought that would be hysterical. But um, some people might not get it and wonder what's going on and why is it black. <laughs> but I was. I'm going to have it all black and start the live so it was black in here and then when i got a stars support thank you guys so much i was going to turn all the lights on <laughs> oh i need help i need help all right so one spider coming up all right so we're going to make a rounded diamond or a teardrop whatever floats your boat <laughs> right that would have been i thought it would have been hysterical but you know i don't know some people might have thought my video was screwing up and uh you know we know how that went with that one painting and the video screwed up that was that was kind of a big mess but that's okay all right and um i'm just going to do a scribble circle for his head all right scribble circle for his head okay and now i'm going to switch how about a pumpkin you want to see a pumpkin susan i can do a pumpkin we can do a pumpkin. Let me start the pumpkin because that's going to be a few layers, all right? So, um, and the spider's just black. So, I'm grabbing mini-me and I'm grabbing white paint. <laughs> I brighten your evening and that would have been hilarious. <laughs> uh, see, that's why we're fam because you guys get my humor. <laughs> One pumpkin. All right, parentheses this way. Parentheses this way. Just like that. All right, fill and fix. All right, start off with white paint, especially if you have a dark background. Okay, so that way and uh, this way. Okay, just like that. And fill and fix. And I'm going in, I'm doing my brush strokes in the shape of my pumpkin just to get my brain and my hand and everything else trained that I want my pumpkin to have swoops in it like that. So now I'm gonna uh, grab my red and my yellow with my white, right? We're gonna do the peach layer. We're gonna do the peach layer. Okay, so we're gonna do the peach layer on here. 
And I am very, 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 very lightly sweeping this on because um, the white is still wet, obviously. I just painted it. So I do not want to wind up taking that off. So I'm putting this on very, with a very light touch. Okay, a very, very, very light touch. Um, my recommendation is let the white dry before you do this layer. Um, but, uh, you know, to each his own. Okay, so now let that dry and we'll come back to that. Okay, so spider. So I'm grabbing Mr. Nifty and I'm grabbing my black paint. And you're going to do your web line, say he's at the bottom of this, this kitty's foot. So you just do the line down to his uh, point right there. And then the legs, the legs are going to come out from where this meets that. So you do the first leg, right? Remember what I said about doing the same thing on either side so stuff is more um, even? All right, so my first leg. Okay, and then the next legs. Put those. Okay, and then we have the ones coming towards the front, right? So you do a line out this way, close to the head. Close to the head. And bring it in. And then you do the next ones coming out like this. And put those in. All right? And then you want two little fangs. You can add two little fangs. Okay, so there is your spider. <laughs> and of course, you can go back in and highlight the spider, you know, any way you want to highlight the spider. All right, guys, so you can go back in and add highlights, or you can put uh, white and add colors to them if you want to give them, like, purple and his design. You know, you could design them any way you want, but that's the basic shape of uh, my spiders and how I do my spiders. Okay, guys? So, 6,000%. So, next thing I'm going to do with this pumpkin is I'm going to swirl tap dab mini me, and I'm going to grab my red paint, and I'm going to come in here and do the red uh, swoops. We're going to do the red swoops for the lines, right, and the outer edge, okay, do the outer edge, all right, got to let that dry, so let's throw a stem on here, uh, you love the spider, <laughs> thank you Becky so much. Butters, Butters is still outside, so uh, I'm going to let him in in a minute. And uh, in, a, in a little minute, I'm going to let him in. He's uh, he's just still outside. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, so he's coming in in a minute. I, I hear him, Mary. I hear him. <laughs> and uh, so I uh, yellow, blue, and white. Yellow, blue, and white. Okay, yellow, blue, and white. Put our stem in. Okay, so I do hear him. And um, like I said, the highlight for the uh, spider, right? Nifty and white paint. And I just follow around that curve right there. Okay, follow around that curve right there. And then follow around his head right here. Okay, and you can highlight your spider. <laughs> He's hanging out with his friends out there, right? He's getting into trouble. He's uh, getting into trouble, my little troublemaker. Okay, so we're going to turn around and finish off our pumpkin. Now, like I said, in an ideal world, you would let all this dry, 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 dry. But if you're going to be quick about it, all right? So now I'm going to grab my uh, yellow, and I'm going to put the uh, yellow in here and the parts that are uh, not red okay so we're gonna put the yellow in here all right wipe off my brush if I wind up picking up any of the red 
Okay, and everything's curved, right? Everything is curved. We want to make sure everything is curved. All curves, right? Just like that. All right. So, layer two. Okay, and now I'm going to zigzag zoom it just for the sake of, uh, I didn't leave any, I didn't plan on doing a pumpkin, but I'm just going to zigzag zoom this very lightly, very lightly, just to get rid of those harsh lines. Okay, so I'm going to zigzag zoom this just to soften this out. All right, wipe off my brush. Okay, just like that. Actually, he's quiet now, and when he's quiet is when I get worried. Because <laughs> I'm like, what did he get himself into if he's being quiet? <laughs> so, all right, just like the kids, right? They're just like having children. They really are. All right, so... I'm going to zigzag zoom all of that, and then I'm going to grab my uh, red with some yellow, and we're going to just softly sweep in some darker areas here. Okay. Oh, that wipe my brush off, grab some red and yellow. So we're going to sweep in some of the darker areas back in. Okay, and then you have your pumpkin. All right, so, uh, right? <laughs> right? Oh, he just started back up again, so. <laughs> I'm grabbing just red now to really pronounce some of this darker areas so like I said in a perfect world you would let the paint dry in between all these layers all right um, but I am just giving you the general gist of this so there you have it and then you could also turn around and um, you know if you want to make this a jack-o-lantern or whatever you just do your faces for a jack-o-lantern all right so mr. nifty black paint all right, I'm going to follow the curve of the pumpkin and put my uh, my triangles for my eyeballs. Okay, so I'm following the curve of the pumpkin. Following the curve of the pumpkin with my triangles for the eyeballs. Okay, and, you know, maybe a little dot nose. I mean, it's your jack-o'-lantern, so you guys make any kind of faces you want any kind of faces that you want to make okay and you'd be all set <laughs> oh yeah he's definitely uh that well that's the whole reason i introduce him because <laughs> you never know when he's going to be chiming in and uh no worries love um he's coming in as soon as i say goodnight to all of you okay so uh He's going to be okay, and I'm going to give him fresh water and fresh food, and he's going to be Mr. Happy Boy again. So we'll get that squared away as soon as I'm done. Do my dog mom duties, right? Do my dog mom duties. Okay, guys? So there is all things Halloween, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now you're going to be all ready to do um, Friday's painting, right? So Friday, those of you who haven't seen Friday's painting... This is Friday's painting. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, so that's Friday's painting. And uh, so you guys are going to be all set for that. All right, 6,000%. I have um, a couple of fall ones coming your way. So you're going to see the events. Oh, guys, do me. You're welcome, Marie Marie. Thank you, Mary. Uh, do me a favor. Um, I did the masterpiece, mo oh, you're so welcome, Susan. I did the masterpiece montage for the painting for Friday, right? The little video where it just shows all the steps and then the painting reveal. I never made the event page until yesterday. So if you guys can hit share on that, that would be awesome. Because I realized yesterday 
I did everything to announce Friday's painting except make the event page. <laughs> so the event page is posted. If you guys can hit that share button on that on that bad boy, that would be awesome. I'd really appreciate it, right? So, you know, tips are always appreciated, but there's hitting that share button is just as much of supportive as the the tips are. Okay, guys? So, um if you can just do do Eve a favor and hit the little share button on that um on that post. That would be awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you guys so 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 much. And um all things Halloween, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So much fun. You shared it earlier. Thank you. Some of you did share it, and that's what made me think of it. Debbie shared it earlier. Jill shared it earlier. Um uh, some of the, some of, um, some other people shared it earlier. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. 6,000%. Thank you guys so much for the stars tonight. 630 stars. Yes, baby. Yes. So thank you guys so much for that also. And, uh, I'm going to see you all on Friday. All right. So, um, y'all are my heart. You really do. And, um, you're welcome, Mary, and, um, have fun, and go create, okay? Bye, Irene. Mwah. Good night, everybody. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon. I'll see you on Fridays. Bye.